So everyone talks about I'm in menopause. Well, are you at that 365 day mark? Because if you're not, you're probably in postmenopause. And so when we talk about these terms of where we're at, early in your life after you reach puberty and you're having normal cycles, we call that pre, you know, menopause. Then you have perimenopause. And perimenopause is this stage of life, which could be months to years before you hit that menopausal state. And so menopause, as you mentioned, is one day of life. And it's after not having a cycle for a full year. So 12 months of not having a cycle, you have a party, it's menopause, you've reached this next stage of life where you can thrive. And we just need to know all of the things that we're gonna discuss today. And every day after that one day is considered post-menopause. And generally, when people talk about symptoms that occur when they're in perimenopause or postmenopause, it's because of this erratic fluctuation in hormones that happens in perimenopause. And then after you stop cycling, after you stop releasing an egg, which is the full purpose of having cycles is to procreate your body has this dramatic drop in estrogen, and that leads to a number of symptoms that occur after you stop having your menstrual cycles. So what, let's say, let's get into the overall science of it for a second. 